Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing a cryptozoology legend video on Lauren Coleman. Before I get into it though, if you enjoy my content, it would really help me out if you would hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share my content on social media, and post a comment or two. Remember, I welcome your comments, even if you disagree with me. We can disagree and still be friends. If you enjoy a good book, check out my author page on Amazon. My pen name is H.L. Anderson. You can find all all seven of my books there. I've got seven so far. I'm working on some more. I like to think that I write good stories that make you think. I wrote a three-book science fiction western series called Drifters. I wrote uh, The House Off Farrago Road, which is a story, a fun story about a house in New Orleans where the monsters all hang out. Uh, I wrote a political fantasy called The Righteous President. And I wrote... I've got two so far. I'm working on the next one. The first one is Vanguard 1. The second one is Task Force Terminus. It's futuristic science fiction warfare. <clears throat> um, it's, it's a study of humanity from an alien perspective. Hope you get them. Hope you like them. Uh, all right. Lauren Coleman. Lauren Coleman was born in Norfolk, Virginia in 1947. When he was three months old, his family moved to Decatur, Illinois, where he spent most of his youth. From a young age, Coleman had an interest in animals, nature, uh, natural mysteries, zoological parks and wilderness, that kind of thing. As a boy, he kept a large home zoo of native species of reptiles and mammals. So he's always had an interest in this kind of thing. In March of 1960, he saw a television broadcast of a film called Half Human. It was about the Yeti. As a result, he got passionately interested in researching the reality of the abominable snowman. He began investigating Midwestern reports of anthropoids, all kinds of different critters, uh, mythological creatures there, the, the Thunderbird and, you know, all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> he also been, began corresponding with Ivan T. Sanderson and Bernard Huvelmans, who eventually became his research mentors. In 19, and if you don't know those names, look them up. I might do some videos on those later. In 1962, Coleman found a series of ape like footprints in south central Illinois. He also heard a remarkable primate screech in another part of the state. That was a big year for him, 1962. He began researching different cryptids through newspaper archives. He was interviewing eyewitnesses before he turned 20. This has been a lifelong passion of his. <clears throat> Coleman obtained a degree in anthropology with a minor in zoology. Later, he achieved a postgraduate degree in psychiatric social work and doctoral level work in social anthropology, sociology, and family violence. He has a very broad education. This guy is not a dummy. He's not a, a, a charlatan or a fraud. This guy knows what he's talking about. He's a well-educated individual. Coleman traveled to 45 states and throughout Canada, Mexico, and the Virgin Islands. He spoke with witnesses and joined other researchers in the search for a variety of cryptids, including lake monsters and hominids, and was picked to join the submarine search for the Loch Ness Monster in 1999. Coleman has formed strong intellectual bonds and working relationships with four generations of cryptozoologists. He is an honorary member of multiple crypto cryptozoology research organizations and is the author of several books and over 200 articles on the subject. He is a frequent guest on television and radio programs and has lectured all over the world. He has consulted on and off camera for many television programs and was a contributor to the CryptoZoo News, the CryptoZoo News, with his regular article on the trail. In October 20, uh, on October 20th, 1997, Coleman was among the first 10 inductees into the Roger Patterson Memorial Hall of Fame. Lauren Coleman plans to open an international cryptozoology museum in Portland, Maine, to house his vast collection of artifacts, books, and research materials. That may have already done, been done because the book I got this, this information from, I found out, is, is pretty old. So he may have already got it done. He's also the author of several non-cryptozoological cryptozoological books, 
on older adoptees and suicide clusters. So it, he, he's passionate about cryptids, but that's not his only interest, and that's not his only area of expertise. This guy is the real deal. This guy is a real scientist doing real field research. Lauren Coleman epitomizes what a knowledge-seeking researcher should be. He doesn't make assumptions. He collects data and facts and follows where they lead. He still fights the good fight, and for that, he is a cryptozoology legend. Do some more research on Lauren Coleman. He's a great guy. He's still alive and kicking. He's still doing his thing, um, as far as I know. And... uh. Yeah, if you if you get a chance to do some more research, put some information in the comments. I'm sure we'd love to read them. You folks have a good one. God bless one and all. We elect cookie-cutter politicians every single election cycle. Yes, men who maintain the status quo and do just enough to make us believe the system still works. Imagine, if you will, a president who actually tries to fix things. If you like action, political intrigue, and a righteous crusade, check out my political thriller, The Righteous President.